Hey, good morning. It's been a while since we've talked. Um, it's Frederick here. And can you hear the birds in the back? I, uh, I like to have a little bird music in the morning when I have coffee. Morning to you might be 9 a.m., 7 a.m., but for me, morning is like 3 in the afternoon because I spend a lot of my night making muffins, muffins, bagels, and uh, when you're a graveyard baker, you gotta sleep during the day when you can and work all night making donuts. So it's been a while since we've talked and I just wanted to connect on a specific topic um, oh, so basically, it's been about a week since I've, uh, been regularly, daily uploading videos. I had to slow down because I just got too crazy of a schedule going on with, uh, the show we're doing, The Rock of Ages, and I think once the show's done... The last show was April 29th. Then I'm going to do like a little montage video of what the experience was like. But here's the thing that I've been learning. The cool thing about theater is, I mean, it's organic. It's alive. Theater lives and breathes and it has, you know, uh, an element to it that's unlike television or film. You know, because you can always call cut and redo something but when you have a live audience and you're all out on stage and in a play we're doing called the rock of ages it's a musical i mean you have the musicians the band is playing you know people are singing we have dancers we have actors and you know there's a lot of moving parts and what is cool is to see this show come together with so many moving parts it's it's awesome but we'll talk more about that in later videos. Another cool thing is you really become like a, maybe the word is family or, or like a team. You know, you all have a role to play. And when you know your role, you, you want to do the best job you can do. And if everybody does the best that they can do at whatever part they're doing, big or small, it makes the whole production, it makes the whole show like something incredible. I love it. And last night I got to talk to one of my uh, cast mates. You know, we we're backstage before the show, just relaxing, getting ready. And, uh, you know, we talked about life, you know. And one of the things that struck me was, you know, it's a great place to meet people, to become friends, and to, you know, get to know somebody at a deeper level, you know, when you're part of something that's bigger than just you. You know, and that's what theater is. That's what teams are, clubs, dance troops, you know, bands, whatever group you're a part of. I think it just makes life a little bit better, you know, knowing that you're part of something. I love that, you know, and I think about this at a deeper level. You know, the world's a big place, but it ain't that big, you know, and... In light of the fact that humanity seems to be struggling at the best of times, you know, to get along with each other. And in terms of the fact that there are enough riches and resources on this planet for everybody to be really taken care of. And yet, power hungry, money hungry, status hungry, greedy people... Um, make life difficult for others you know I look at this when I sit here in this room look at that it says love you know it says love serves all it says love disarms it says love is stronger than anger it says love is from above I got that painting uh, from a conference I went to years ago you know, and ultimately, I, I do believe in the big guy upstairs. And uh, I think that's where love comes from. You have a love that's given to you from, 
you know, this supernatural force outside of yourself. But it's a love that compels you to do things to make the world a better place. You know, that's what I love about acting, about theater. You know, it's something I enjoy doing. It, I come alive on stage, you know. It gives me an opportunity to, you know, tell a story. And the reason I love stories is because you learn lessons of life. You learn about yourself, you know, inside another person's story. You have highlights on your own life and the cool thing is you can make adjustments you know you watch a movie you watch a production on stage a theater a play and 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 you start to ask yourself questions about your own life you know and uh and i think love being a, a topic that we need to explore more and more you got to have love for yourself you know and then and then you got to have love for other people and, and it has to be a healthy love, not a love that's manipulative or self-serving, but a love that wants to serve others, a love that is desiring to make life better for somebody else. And when the play closes, it'll be sad, but I'm going to keep you updated. I'll talk to you here in a little bit. Um, I just heard a friend of mine knocking at the door. I'll be right back.